Okay. Fish animation. This is lesson 12, uh, page nine. Using the counter pattern, make all three of the fish move as an image. Okay. Well, let's see. Looks like already the, the orange fish is moving. So I think that I can um, just copy what they're doing, right? So watch what I do. I'm going to do a sneaky trick. I'm going to do a little cut and paste. Let's see. Or a copy and paste, I should say. And then I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to change it from orange fish to, I can make this a little bit bigger for you. Uh, uh, let's see. So orange fish to blue fish. I got to over here too. So remember, copy and paste is your friend. Actually, all I did was I saw that they already showed me how to do it with the orange fish. Copy and paste it, change it from, change the name. So we're using the name of the sprite, and let's see if this works. All right, good. They're all moving. Now there's something else I was supposed to do, right? Um, blue fish should move uh, the fastest, and green fish should move the slowest. All right. So blue, I want it to move over a couple more spots each time it draws. I'm going to make that like plus five. And green fish, I only want to move over one spot in the thing. Let's see how it works now. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think we've got it. And was there a challenge on this one? Oh, I think it was in the challenge where they make it wiggle in the um, at the end. So there it is. That's how it's done. Um, all I did um, was put in, I copied the orange fish code, put it underneath it, changed the name of the sprite, and then I changed how far it moves over every time um, the draw loop goes through. The blue fish moves over five every time the draw loop happens. Orange fish is moving over two. Green fish is moving over one. All right, that is it. Look at those fish go. This is a cool program because every time they end up in a little different spot. You know. Anyway, all right, I hope that helps.